In the previous episode, uh, we did the summer luau, which is great. In this episode, our watering can is ready, so we gotta go get that. Let's see here, it's gonna be clear and sunny day all day tomorrow. Fortune is gonna be somewhat annoyed today, and then Queen of Sauce. Uh, Queen Sauce, here's my, or here to teach you a new mass watering recipe for my secret cookbook this week's dish. Pancakes. Sometimes I get carried away with fancy, complicated dishes, but there's something comforting about a simple pancake. They want plenty of butter and maple syrup to slather over these warm stacks. Mm. I'll take it. Okay, we got things to do. So first off, in the edit of last episode, I realized that this aquamarine, I need it. I need to turn it in to the bundles. I, I was going to take it to Gun Gunther, but I was like, N that's a bad idea. Uh, we got corn seeds to plant. I got this crystal fruit to turn in. I could put a sprinkler down somewhere. So yeah, we got a lot going on. Ooh, blueberries, baby. Hey kid, my throat's about as dry as a desert bone. Um, that's a desert bone. A desert bone is a completely different thing. Don't, don't be, don't be going there game. I'm real thirsty for a pale ale. You got one? A regular old beer won't do. Yeah, I gotta give Pam a pale ale. All right, let's collect some blueberries. We're gonna have a lot of blueberries. Uh, we'll get everything watered. I'll head over to Gunther, uh, obviously. Or not Gunther, but um, actually I gotta go to Gunther too. I gotta like skull to turn into him. Uh, we gotta go to Clint to get our watering can before we do all that. But I think it's worth planting all of our corn. I missed out on a couple spots because I didn't plant it the night before, but it was too close. I, I don't think I was gonna have the time. I opted not to plant it because it was like 1 a.m. Well, I don't, I don't want to go over that 2 a.m. mark, especially with how limited we are on energy right now. You know what? I think while I'm at it as well, I should probably go look up here. I need to go get some more corn because that it was not enough to fill up that space. So I think I am just going to fill up that whole lower right corner as much as I can with corn and just utilize that going into the fall. I'm not going to get a huge amount of profit off of that unless I had like put it right at the beginning of uh, summer. But honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, I think I have an extra topaz lying around. Makes Emily happy. I bet it does. <laughs> I bet it does. Actually, we should check real quick. Social. Yeah, I could do Maru's stuff as well. So, yeah, let's let's go grab that topaz. A cauliflower. Because uh, things are only just now opening. And I, I should probably maximize my time in town. Okay, I've actually changed my whole plan. I've, got, I've gone back and forth a couple times to the town. I'm wasting so much time. We're, I've bought my, my seeds, right? So we got the, the 19 seeds that we need. But I am also going to upgrade my pickaxe. So I think that that is a better choice because it's not going to rain tomorrow. And because it's not going to rain, it's a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our pickaxe. Because we're not going to be in the mines. But having that thing upgraded is really nice because I need to clear off some of the bigger stones um, around our farm as well. Yeah, give me the watering can. Oops. Okay, so process geodes. Get rid of these four real quick. I have plenty of things to take to Gunther. Two more. One more. I kind of want to upgrade my bag too, but the other thing is I got the stone and I got the wood, and we're going to go get a barn. Um, Upgrade our pickaxe. Boom. Cool. He can do that. Yeah, I got to make sure that I get the barn down and I don't really care where I put it just to be perfectly honest and the reason why is because I can move it once it's down that's the thing is like people try to clear a spot for their their farm buildings um, before they do anything with them um, or build them even though they could build them much earlier than they think they can but that's the key is honestly if you just go uh, do I want to go up to the uh, let's go past the beach first so if you just go and place the barn down then then you can take a moment and clear things, but that way it's building already, and then you can just go move it. You can, you can use uh, Robin's shop, and it, you can just move it around, which is really nice. It's, it's kind of a, a clever way of of um, getting buildings just down as quickly as possible. You don't, like I said, you don't have to do anything with it. Uh, oh, this is Haley. Emily usually cooks dinner. Right, Emily's the, the blue-haired one. You gotta remember that. Okay, so we can put the aquamarine here, so we just need the duck feather. Which is really nice, honestly. And then we got to go put the crystal fruit in over here. And I think that... Um, I, I guess I should check my inventory real quick, just to be safe. But I think that will finish 
uh, what we got to put in at the moment. Let's put that there. You just need that. Okay. Um, let's... Why is it not going? I'm like hitting escape over and over. Nothing's happening. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good. Although I will put that there. Let's swap that there. All right. Let's go get my building built. Yeah, so a barn is 6,000 gold, 350 wood, 150 stone. It's three days to build. Um, let's kind of build it. I should have plenty of space down over here, I think. Yeah, we could put it down over here. Honestly, if I put it down over here and then have the animals eating all of this hay. What if I put it over here? Actually, this is going to be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's put it over here and I'll make a like a fence around it. Um, yeah, because then I can have the, the cows and whatnot eat down there. I'll take it. That's all like farming space I could also use, but for the time being, I may as well. I may as well let them do that. Oh, uh, Mario, that's right. Also, we're we're down to 10k, but that's is that really a bad thing? Not really. We're about to make a bunch of money. All right, hello. I bet you're growing some interesting crops right now. Dad says a lot of exotic plants grow in the valley this time of year. I know you've you've said that before, and I take offense to it. Super gift. Oh crap! I gave her the wrong thing. <laughs> what did I just gift her? What did I have there? What did I have there? The topaz. Oh no! <laughs> Crap. Uh, that that'll <laughs> that'll teach me to rely on my scroll wheel. It's funny that the moral is here, but I don't need it anymore. <laughs> um, nothing else I, I actually need from here. So we're gonna go ahead and back out of that. Go get us some hardwood. Cause I'm gonna need that to make the fences, obviously. And then yeah, I'm gonna go finally water all my stuff. So now, when it comes to watering, I now water this much, which is really convenient because it's like so much more. Just that two extra really helps. It's going to save a lot of time as well. And on top of that, um, it's going to save a lot of energy because now we're not having to spend all that energy on the extra two spots for each time that we're doing this. It's kind of crazy. So like getting this upgraded right away, I think it's very handy. All right, let's see how much money we made after that crazy blueberry day. It's gonna be a lot. Oh, foraging went up. Uh, tree fertilizer. Really? That's gotta be new. Um, wild seeds. And warp totem mountains. Plus one axe proficiency. Yeah, it's like 15k right there just from the blueberries. See, it's all gonna start coming up. Now is a great time to upgrade my bag. Get the, um, uh, was it part of the community center? The vault, I think is what it is. Get that done. Uh, weather report. Tomorrow's gonna be sunny. Cool. Fortune teller. Spirits are somewhat perturbed, which is great because we're not gonna be doing any mining. <laughs> um, gotta spa in your town. Relax and hold still in the steaming hot water to replenish your energy. Ah, uh, feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, there was a. Uh, we recently talked about that where it's like I totally even forgot that that was a thing. But it's like existed in all of these games. <laughs> it's just always been there and I constantly am forgetting that it actually exists. Okay, so let's drop that. I'm gonna pop this in here. Um, I don't have a pickaxe, so I can't get rid of one of these, fortunately. Otherwise I would use it uh, to, to put my sprinkler down. I don't think there's another way to destroy just a single plant. Maybe, maybe there is, I don't, I don't remember. Okay, I don't know how the best way to go about watering this is. So I may just try this way and see how this works. Okay, so I got this whole thing done on one water can refill, which is really nice. Saved a bit of time, about an hour earlier than I normally would be. But I don't know if upgrading to the gold can is going to be uh, a good thing for us. I think I'd rather just get to gold in the mines and get a bunch of uh, uh, sprinklers. And then just not have to worry about it and just let that do its own thing. Cause then I can like get up, do the sprinklers, uh, or rather like collect stuff, let the sprinklers do their things, do all of the animal stuff. Speaking of which I totally messed up that, missed the mayonnaise. Um, yeah. And then go off and I don't know, go to like the desert or whatnot, because at this point we're going to unlock the desert fairly quickly with the amount of money we're making off blueberries. It is time. I'm going to do it. Time to upgrade. No more inventory issues today. <laughs> 
I, I guarantee you I'll have more. But it, right now, it's it's gonna it's gonna be a nice little aid for us just to not have to worry about it. Especially because I'm gonna go do some. Or actually, I was planning to go do some fishing. I just realized I need to talk to Maru. It's Monday, which means she's probably working. So we should probably actually go chat with her about that. Oh, and Emily, right? Oh crap! I gotta do this as well. All right, we should we should go get the other topaz. But it's a Monday morning, Maru. You're so lazy. What are you What are you doing? You're supposed to be working. Emily, take this. There we go. <laughs> it's perfect. Here's a little something for your trouble. Cool. What did she give me? Gold, probably. Yep. No, uh, no ticket though. I'm kind of hoping more for those prize tickets. I got to keep an eye out on the uh, the bulletin board. Probably try to do some more of the prize ones. Cause it, it, I mean, it, it was giving us pretty good items from doing that. I just gotta cycle through it more. Train is passing through Stardew Valley. Oh, hey, Maru. We'll go to the train in a second. Got to give her cauliflower. Anything else? Hmm, what sort of gadget should I tinker with this summer? How about something to cook all that cauliflower? <laughs> you got a lot of it. I've given you a lot. You ever think she'll get tired of it? Being like, man, it's awkward. I don't want to tell him. Because I told him right off the bat. Man, I love cauliflower. Now he's only ever got me cauliflower, and it's like, oh, how do I tell him, like, it's too much cauliflower? <laughs> how does one even have this much cauliflower? I don't think I'm really going to get a whole lot from this. Sometimes stuff pops off of it. Oh, we got a boom. Um, but I don't remember what is the criteria for that, you know? At what point do things pop off? Kind of like... Hit it. I'm, I'm not sure how the train actually works in Stardew Valley. I want to be perfectly honest. I've never looked it up. I just know that sometimes you come over here and stuff pops off. Like coal. But a lot of other times, no, nothing. We'll, we'll check over here. Got nothing there. And I'll see anything up over there. All right, we're good. Is that it? Um, yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing for the train. What is the chance of that? Maybe, maybe I should just look it up and figure out like what, what's all going on with that stupid train. Hey, we got our wood skip. All right, so the wood skip is one of the specialty fishes. And the last one that remains for us is the, uh, crap, what's the name of it? Let me look at the app real quick. So I walk into things in the game. It is the looking... Still like sandfish, right? So we have to unlock the desert to go get the sandfish. But by unlocking that, um, that leaves us at how many? Just one, I think, in the fish tank or two. So that tiger trout will get like right at the beginning of fall. This one would be done. And then that leaves just the night fishing walleye, which again, fall. So I think I prioritize that the moment we hit fall and get the fish tank done. Um, and then what does the fish tank actually give us? Do the glittering boulder removed. Uh, that's not super great. It could be better. <laughs> you Basically, you get to pan for stuff in the river, and I've never found the panning thing to be hyper good, but that's mostly because I constantly am missing it. Like When when it pops up, I, I see it, I go for it, and then I'm just not quick enough. I like half the time. At least that's how it was in the previous update for me. Uh, we'll get rid of all this stuff. That, uh, well, no, let's hold on to that. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Sort through my inventory real quick just by bumping them up. Like so. We'll dump this in there. Keep the wood skip. Got to put that in the uh, bundle when we go over that way. See what we get for this day. Not, not going to be a huge day for money. But, you know, better than nothing. That's totally fine. I bet our pickaxe is ready. Gotta go get our pickaxe. So wait for it to pop up. Is it? It is. Okay, cool. Oh no, put the TV back down. I've gotten too strong in my age. <laughs> Just picked up my whole TV. Gonna be sunny tomorrow and then fortune teller. Mildly perturbed. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. They like to do that. Give us more blueberries, baby. So, ooh, don't want to eat it. The funny thing is, remember how in the previous episode I was complaining that I was in pain because I moved that crazy, like, two to three hundred pounds, or three to four hundred pounds, maybe? I'm not really sure. 
just based on like my own weight lifting. I'm, I'm that's what I'm guesstimating, and uh, and how I was super sore. Well, turns out day two is always the worst. <laughs> it's always the worst. I I can't move today. I'm walking around like an idiot. I just like. <laughs> I, I'm limping all around. I feel so just pathetic. <laughs> it's very funny. Oh, we got iridium eggs here. Yeah, that's right. Just pop those in. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's very brutal. I'm going to be perfectly honest. It has been very brutal. Um, my, my legs are just killing me. Nothing wrong with that, but I... Oh, and the arms too. Places on my arms that, I, that weren't hurting yesterday are hurting today. <laughs> Where did this come from? <laughs> oh, hey, we got our one corn, so we can actually go plop that in the bundle as well. But isn't that funny? It's like, yeah, you, you get to a point where you, uh, can I break this with an axe? I can, good, because I kind of want this in a slightly different spot here. It's kind of annoying. Do put it here. Boom, okay. Um, yeah, you get to the point where you know that you've overdone it, but you don't quite know how by like by how much until until the pain settles in on the second day. What is going on with my character? And um, yeah, it was uh, it's it's not great, guys. It's 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 been a little rough. And you know what? It really hits you how bad it is when like you you try to get out of bed. So for me, I tried to get out of bed this morning, and I totally forgot about all of my soreness, and I just I just need to use the bathroom. So I was just like did my normal I'm getting out of bed thing just as soon as my foot hit the ground my knees just like buckled I was like oh, oh god I'm gonna die <laughs> I just totally forgot about the pain oh no I just like way overdid it getting out of bed and then and then you you know for sure you overdid it when you go to use the bathroom you just have a hard time getting out of the toilet or out of the toilet off the toilet out of it too in case you know you're doing really bad and you've fallen in then then you know you have a problem I'm not reached that point though Oh, you know what? I have waited too long. The blacksmith is about to close. Oh, that sucks. All right. You know what? It doesn't really matter that much because I don't need it today. I wasn't planning on going and mining, but I'm going to have to pick it up the next day. I was over here trying to set up my spot for my cows, you know? I want my cows to feel good. I want them to have a nice little spot. So I'm trying really hard. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, I may have uh, over overdone it just a tiny bit. Let's put some. Oh, you know what? Stupid trees. I'm gonna clear all these trees out, I think. I just realized I picked this up. Felled trees have a 5% chance to yield double wood. Woody's secret. This must be, oh, and I also got a mystery box. I didn't even notice. Where am I getting all this from? Nice, learned a new power. If I go to skills, does it show there? Oh no, I was expecting it might, but apparently not. Also our foraging is almost at level 10. That feels pretty nice. Um, why is it green? Maybe it's just showing that I'm almost there. Maybe I'm about to level. I don't know. I don't know. Um, farming is at seven. Mining is at five. We might be able to get all of this stuff maxed out by the end of the first year, which would be really nice because I could get into that door down there that you guys were telling me about that apparently has a bunch of good stuff in it. So that'd be kind of cool. Oh, I see. The, the reason it's green is because I have plus two foraging at the moment because of my autumn's bounty that I ate. All right, that's fine. I'm really curious how much wood I've collected. I'm assuming it's a lot. 683. Yeah, I uh, I maybe have overdone it just a tiny bit. But I'm going to go through that wood anyways. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I needed it. I needed to go through the wood and clear out my farm a little bit. It's getting teensy bit out of hand, if we're honest. All right, we'll keep the mystery box. Keep the rest of the stuff. Mixed flower seeds we'll put down. Um... Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. Let's go turn in the day. See how much we get from our... Talk to him, right? See how much we get from our... Uh, our blueberries. Not a lot. 4,000, but hey, you know what? For that tiny little yield that we get just in that corner, it's pretty good. Um, that means, man, we can go buy a bunch of farm animals today and get my pickaxe.